hello friends and welcome to video number two in the uh, my first ever series a ranch hand in the city and for those of you who are new to me uh, don't know what's the ranch hand thing about um, in the summer I help out in a, a cattle ranch in northeast Wyoming and I've been coined as ranch hand Jeff <laughs> I do live here uh, just south of San Francisco, so I'm gonna start this series here at the edge of the world. Give you a little bit of background information maybe. This is, of course, the Pacific Ocean. It is breezy today, just flat breezy and chilly, which is normal for the San Francisco area. I am currently at Fort Funston which is a, uh, well, used to be a fort back in the, some war, who knows? Google it. Um, <laughs> so on this uh, cliff here is actually a landing strip. It doesn't look like a landing strip, does it? But I assure you, it is. On the weekends when it's breezy and cool, or breezy and hot. Hang gliders are thick out here. They, uh, they come out and hang glide off the cliff here. It started out as just, you know, some people found a cliff where there weren't too many people and they'd jump off. Now it's actually uh, an area for hang gliders and they've built it up. We're gonna go up on the, the lookout and have a look out. So they come in and land right here. So this being the second in the series, the first was just kind of an introduction. A little bit about San Francisco. San Francisco has a wide variety of attractions within the area, well, in the city actually, is the world famous cable cars which are the last surviving such transportation system in the world. Fisherman's Wharf, which is a uh, harbor area of boats and seafood restaurants. Ghirardelli Square, a 19th century chocolate factory transformed into a unique shopping plaza. See, hang gliders. Uh, what else have we got? The Golden Gate Bridge. Built in 1937, it was, at the time, the world's longest suspension bridge. Uh, we've got the Oakland Bay Bridge, San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge, which when it was built, was the longest bridge in the world. It goes from San Francisco across the bay to Oakland. Chinatown, which was once the largest Chinese community outside of Asia. Ooh, let's climb. Uh, we've got the Coit Tower, which is a memorial to uh, San Francisco's volunteer firemen. Built in 1933, it was uh, with money donated by a patron of the volunteer fire department back then. Uh, Alcatraz, the famous former federal prison, of course. Mission Dolores, which is the oldest structure in the city. The Palace of Fine Arts, which was built for the 1915 International Exposition. And Golden Gate Park, which we're, uh, we're gonna go to today drive around the park, see some of the sights there. Now it is a, a bit hazy. Uh, it's not smog, it's fog out there. On a really clear day, you can see the Farallon Islands, which are, oh gosh, I'll have to look it up. I, they've gotta be 20 miles out, at least. 
but I will look that up. So on top, on top of, I'm, I've climbed up on a pillbox, being Fort Funston. It was a fort to protect the uh, San Francisco Bay and the, the uh, coast of California. And you can see the, uh, where the guns would stick out. These are just up and down the coast here. You can find these. Under the sand is a whole um, network of uh, what batteries? See, I guess yeah. But I'm not a military person, so I don't know. But a uh, bunch of tunnels and rooms, all that good stuff. Another pillbox that they've just built around. There is uh, just down the beach, just, oh gosh, not real far, just the other side of that golf course is Thornton State Beach. That is a state beach. This is a national or federal part of the Golden Gate National Wildlife Area. No, National Recreation Area. Golden Gate NRA. And for any of you that are in the Park Service, that's GOGA, G-O-G-A. I'm just showing off now because I happen to know that. <laughs> also a big dog walking park right just over to my left here. People bring their dogs. They're supposed to be on leash but most people let their dogs run off leash over on the sand dunes over there. So yeah let's head up to Golden Gate Park shall we? Unless we see something on the way that we need to stop and see, we'll uh, be there in just a few minutes. Of course, I could do the whole snap your finger thing, boom, we're there, but nah, not my style. Of course, I'm still developing style, so we'll see what happens. And here we are, just like that, at Ocean Beach. In the summertime when it's, well, the few times it's really warm, you get a lot of people on this beach. It used to be a hangout when I was in high school. The cool kids would come out here and have a bonfire and party, all that good stuff. Out there in the distance, you might be able to see the ship that's leaving port. He has just gone under the Golden Gate Bridge, which we will get to in a later video. Now, it looks like a long ways out to the water, and it is right now, but at high tide, it's not nearly as far. You can see the, uh, the sand is rippled. Partly by the wind, but it uh, on the really high tides, storm surges such as that, it gets up here. I don't think I don't. I've never seen it get against this uh, this breakwater here, but it's there for a reason, I guess. And just on the other side of the highway here is Golden Gate Park. We'll see if we can see. I don't know if we can see both of them. I know we can see, oh, maybe. Over here you see a windmill. I don't know if I can zoom. Nope, I can't zoom. 
there's a windmill there and over in the distance just below that yellow building you might be able to see the fins of a, another windmill those two windmills were used to water the park when it was first built we'll go into the park and see some of the sites there be back with you in just a minute I'll take you along for the ride across the highway here as we go into the park. A little bit more explanation of the Ranch Hand Jeff thing. I do, uh, do help out on uh, the Our Wyoming Life Ranch in Wyoming in the summertime. Um, they have a YouTube channel and with a mission, they have a mission of educating people about where their food comes from and the families behind it. It's worth a look. Our Wyoming Life on YouTube. So we are on the Great Highway headed to the park. The roads are rough here, my goodness. So if I'm in Wyoming in the summer, what do you do in the winter? Well, I come home in the winter, this is home. I live just south of San Francisco because I don't do snow. Wyoming has snow in the wintertime, so not for me. And we have entered Golden Gate Park, which is what's called a green belt. New York has one, it's called Central Park. And then we have one, Golden Gate Park. And there's a ton of history about the park that I'm not gonna go into because I haven't memorized it. See if we can get a look at this um, windmill. So it gets breezy here, obviously, otherwise they wouldn't put windmills up. And this little park here says it's closed, but people don't care about closed signs, apparently. And those uh, flower beds in the springtime are just full. They started refurbishing years ago, but I don't think they ever finished either one of them. And let's move on. Just up ahead a little ways is the bison paddock. All right, let's go have a look. see them on this. I can't even see them on this screen. And out there are the San Francisco bison. Yeah, how exciting is that? Uh, 
A little bit. Not much zoom on this, but that's all they do out there, just walk around. Just exciting. And one of the main lakes in the park is Spreckles Lake. I remember as a kid coming out here with the family to watch the boats. Radio control boats. This is uh, there's a club that meets here and, and runs their boats. You might be able to see the sailboats running out there with all the operators on the other shore. Next up, I think, is Stowe Lake, which is the other large lake in the park where you can rent pedal boats and uh, tool around the lake. I'll give you a little bit of the driving part. I'm not going to keep you just watching me go down the road because, you know, exciting. Lindley Meadow, they have concerts here occasionally. Some big gathering in the summertime, just the park is full with activities and bandstands, and it's just crazy. I don't come out here when there's that many people because, yeah, people. If you're a, a hiker or a walker or a bicyclist, you could spend all day touring Golden Gate Park. I, however, am a driver. I don't bicycle, I don't walk unless I have to. And now they've closed off roads since the last time I was here, which was, oh my gosh, years and years ago. It's been a lot of years. get there. Hmm. Need a bicycle to get where I'm going apparently. That road is closed. There's a sign on the road, the road surface there, I don't know if you saw it, horse crossing used to be a big thing, riding horses in Golden Gate Park. You don't see too many anymore. Uh, the police department still has a uh, equestrian presence, mounted police, mostly on the weekends, I believe.
traffic, traffic. about to cross over crossover drive which is 19th Avenue on one side of the park and Park Presidio on the other side of the park and through the park it's crossover drive just absolutely useless information the climate here is perpetually spring-like, according to the experts. The temperature seldom rising above 68 degrees. Morning and evening fog is our summer weather. It rolls in uh, the evening and rolls out mid-morning. Here's where the peninsula is right between the bay and the ocean, so it's temperate. Alrighty, now we're back into the park. Quite a few tourists out today. Let's see if we can find a parking spot here. My goodness, I'm hard on tires when there's a curb involved. in just a minute. All right, we are on the edge of Stow Lake. Oh, look, ducks. That's an odd one with that red face. He's at a snoop fall, huh? There's the pedal boats. And this goes all the way around this island. You can pedal around, go under a couple of bridges. There's a whole uh, pagoda around the other side of the lake. Very romantic.
There is quite a variety of plant life in the park. Most of it, I won't say most, much of it is not uh, native to San Francisco. There's grasses, cacti, just all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, that is Stowe Lake, and let's move on. So I'm out of the Golden, out of Golden Gate Park. Uh, there was some, so much more I wanted to show you, but there's so many street closures for bicycles only that I just couldn't. Uh, couldn't get to them. So now I'm just at the south end of the city at uh, Lake Merced, which is uh, maintained by whom? San Francisco Recreation Department. And that's the lake. And you can boat, fish, no swimming. This is the North Lake. It's allegedly stocked with trout. Uh, at least once a year, but couldn't prove it by me. I've fished it. I've never caught anything, but rumor has it. So I'm going to end this because I don't want it to be an hour long video. Um, so yeah, that was Golden Gate Park. We did miss the Conservatory of Flowers, which I wanted to show you. Um, there's the Japanese Tea Garden the California Academy of Sciences, no, California Academy of Sci Science. Uh, there's just so much to see, but apparently these days you need a bike, you need a bicycle or on foot to get to them, uh, or you park and walk a mile. So, and that's just not me. <laughs> so. So that's going to do it for today. Um, if you have not subscribed, be sure and do so, so you don't miss out on the remainder of the series. Uh, we'll be going into the city proper uh, next time. So yeah, stay tuned.